Hey, what is up? This is Tyler Pratt. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how to get more website traffic to your, your offers, your, um, your sales page, your opt-in forms, whatever you're promoting online. I wanna just go over a few rules, some strategies to help you generate more website traffic. Uh, and you're gonna do it like a total boss. So you wanna become a total boss because it allows you to create the lifestyle that you want, allows you to do what you want, allows you to become really the total boss of everything that you do. And you can do that starting online, and the best way to do that is to start with uh, website traffic, okay? But before we do that though, hit on the subscribe button, also hit that bell option, that way you get notified of all of the videos that I come out with to you on a daily basis. All right, so website traffic, it's one of those things that everybody has to have, you just have to have it. And I see so many people that they buy traffic, they try to get free traffic, they do all these crazy things, and then they're wondering why their business isn't really exploding, why it's not really taken off. So I wanna just give you one strategy and one, maybe some groundwork to help you build upon that. One of the best ways to get website traffic is gonna be with solo ads, okay? Solo ads are going to be with uh, where you get to uh, go to somebody that already has an email list. Email marketing, email, uh, your email list is gonna be your biggest asset, okay? Don't listen to any of these gurus or anybody else that tells you anything otherwise, okay? Email marketing is way better than, than Facebook, uh, buying Facebook ads. It's way better than YouTube, uh, you know, buying YouTube ads. Email marketing is the best because everybody uses email and everybody, uh, you know, has an email inbox. Now, sure, there's a lot of people that, that are on ton of email, ton of emails and they get too much email, okay? But that's not really part of this whole equation. Email. Uh, marketing is a referral that somebody is sent out. When somebody's on a list and they're getting emails from a particular person and that particular person sends out an email says, hey, I got a great product, go check it out. That's a referral. It's the best traffic in the entire world, okay? Solo ads is uh, the best way to do that and you go to somebody that has a, um, already has an email list. But you have to be careful with this because there's so many people out there that are just, they're sending crap traffic, they're not sending real traffic. They're sending, they're sending, um, like, you know, fake signups. They're doing all this stuff to rip people off. And I, you know, there's there's a precautions that I use when I'm buying solo ads. Okay, I've I've bought solo ads in the past. I've gotten ripped off, and I've, I've you know, I've been through the frustrations of dealing with this. And so there's some precautions that I do take. Now, the one thing precaution I do take is I go to a website called Udemy, and I like to buy there. And the only reason I go there is because uh, the it's hard for people to to really send crap traffic because uh, Udemy has stats through their link and it shows uh, the quality of the traffic. So it's kind of hard to do that. Now they can send uh, free, I mean, they can send uh, you know bad signups. In fact, I just had a provider who sent bad signups. They were sending fake signups through the Udemy uh, platform. So it's, it's possible to do that. They could send good quality traffic, but the actual, the emails are actually fake. Okay, there's a way they do that. Um, I don't know how to do that, but I use a, a script called Click Magic, and what I do is I put an engagement pixel onto my, um, I put it onto, you know, I have a thank you page, and then I have one more page after the thank you page, which is a, you know, like a sales video or a sales page, and somebody clicks on that thank you link that goes to that third page, there's an engagement pixel on that, and I can tell right away uh, what traffic is good. So if somebody opts into my form, they go to my thank you page, uh, and then if 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 it's only like if like if I'm getting 40% opt-ins and I only get like 1% engagement, somebody clicking on the the link, that means it's fake. Okay, that means it's it's fake traffic, and I just busted somebody on Udemy recently uh, for doing that. Uh, luckily, they sent me the money back, but I had to warn other people on Udemy that this person was sending um, they're sending fake signups. Their opt-in is great and everybody loves their opt-in, but they're not sending real signups. Okay, they're not sending real people and that's what you need. You need real quality people. So here's the thing with solo ads. You have an option. You can go to Udemy or you can go to um, a group on Facebook called Social, T um, social uh, Ads Testimonials. You can just type in Social Ad Testimonials. You can go there and you can look at other people that are talking about uh, vendors that they purchase traffic from and you can reach out to them uh, the vendors and you can say, hey, I want to get, you know, a 100 click solo ad or, or 500 click solo ad, whatever you want to do. Make sure when you're buying solo ads that you send all of your traffic to a lead capture page, okay? 
They might be on their list that you buy the traffic from, but you want to put that person onto your list so you can follow up with them. You always want to do that. You know, if you're buying solo ad traffic to a sales page, you're you're just losing out because if somebody comes to your sales page, there's only going to be like one percent of the people that are going to actually buy off a solo ad. Okay, they're just not going to do it right away. But the follow up, um, you know, the constant follow up with your emails, that's where people, majority of people, are going to buy your product. That's where people are going to buy your service. So if you have them on your email list, you're able to follow up. Okay, so make sure you send all your traffic to a uh, lead capture page. Now, getting back to uh, making sure that you get quality traffic. If you go to the solo ad testimonials, you want to reach out to people. And there's a couple questions you want to ask a solo vendor that has traffic. Number one, you want to ask them how they build, how do they build their list? Okay. If you know, how, how are they building their list? Um, are they building it through, through ads and all that? Try to get this information. If they're real vague about it and they're, they're not really giving you information, then don't go with that vendor. Okay. This is going to be one of the first t- um, telltale signs. If they're open about it, and they are telling you how they're building their list, that's fine, okay? Then what you wanna do is you wanna to continue to ask some more questions. Next one of questions you wanna ask them is, um, w- did you promote a, an affiliate offer recently in the last 30 days? You know, have you, have you mailed your list an affiliate offer that you're trying to earn income from? And if they say yes, just ask them, what was the, what was the offer? You know, if they say, well, it was an offer on JVZoo or it was an offer on to Warrior Plus that I just promoted, then that's great. So there's basically, they they tell you how they're building the list. They tell you that they're promoting affiliate offers, which is good because then they have, they know that their list is good, okay? A lot of solo vendors, they have one list that they sell to people and then they have another list that they actually mail to make money with. So the problem is, is they're sending you this kind of this crap traffic over here and you're paying for it, but they're actually real good traffic is over here and they're sending out uh, promotions for that. So. I don't really, you know, it's it's just kind of craziness. Now, like for me, I only have like a few vendors that I go to over and over again because I know their traffic is great, but I had to do a lot of, you know, I had to buy like 100 clicks here and 100 clicks there just to find out whether these these uh, vendors are any really good. So if you ask these questions like, you know, how do you build your list? Have you promoted an affiliate offer recently? Um, what this is going to do is going to tell you that they have some buyers on the list. Buyers are what you want in your list. If you, if you, I mean, it's it's great to get traffic. It's great to get opt-ins to your form. But if nobody's buying anything that you're sending out, then it, you you're, you're just wasting money with a solo ad. So you want to find out if the, if the vendor has buyers. And the way you're really going to do that with your solo ad is you're going to buy some clicks, maybe 200, 300 clicks from them. You're going to get an opt-in and you're going to send it to a very low ticket offer. I mean, we're talking a dollar, okay? You, you redirect them to a uh, one-time offer. Just say, hey, uh, when you send out traffic and, and people go to that and they sign up and they go to your sales page, you say, hey, look, here's a one-time offer. You can get this for a dollar. This is a, you know, it's a 10-hour training on how to make money online for a dollar. And if you get two or three of these dollar sales, then you know you have a good vendor that has a lot of good quality traffic, okay? So that's going to tell you right away. If you, if you have a really good compelling offer that's on the back end and you're selling it for a dollar and you get a vendor that, that sends you traffic and they're really not sending you any buyers at all, then you know that, that, that they just have crap traffic and they're just sending you junk to it, okay? But when you find a good vendor and you find two or three that are really, really good, you can continue to buy traffic from them over and over again because they're going to have a really big list. They'll probably have a list of 30, 40,000 people on their list. So you buy an couple hundred clicks from them every day is you know is going to be really good because you're going to get buyers on your list and buyers are going to turn into to money and that money is going to be able to allow you to reinvest back into more traffic okay so make sure when you when you're buying your solo ads that you just investigate the people and you find out and you just ask them questions before you put your money down if they're vague if they're not telling you what what they're doing if they're just kind of beating around your questions then tell them no thanks, I'm gonna move on to somebody else because there's really, there's hundreds and hundreds hundreds of vendors out there and there's good quality vendors out there that, that would love to send you traffic and would love to do it right to you. But there's also gonna be a lot of just, you know, people that are just lazy and, and they, don't, they don't understand customer service and they're just looking to make a quick buck, be in the social game for a little, or social ad selling game for just a little bit and then they move on. Another thing too is, 
make sure you don't go to their website and read their testimonials, okay? Their testimonials could be fake, they could be, you know, they just don't, they're not real. That's why I like Udemy because Udemy has real testimonials from people. Now I'm not saying all, all the testimonials are gonna be quality, but at least they're real and they're not, they're not fake, they're not Photoshopped, uh, they're real people that have bought and they've, they're given their uh, um, you know, opinions on that. That saved me a ton too because I'll go to the reviews and I'll read through them. And if I see things like you know, 10% opt-in or didn't get any sales or things like that, I know to stay away from that vendor and I know to move on to somebody else. All right, so if you need some help on that, um, I'm gonna leave a link below this to, um, you can get, uh, I'm gonna leave a link down here below this video, that way you can get some information on how to get traffic through uh, Udemy, you just click on that uh, traffic source, okay? Hey, if you like this video, click on like, also share it with your friends, comment below, let me know how I can help your business. This is Tyler Pratt, hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you on the next one. Whistles out.